Welcome. Welcome back, if you've seen, already seen the other video. Welcome back to the Mask Dude rant. Now, I did some hopping and internet looking and basically just some research, and I found that a lot of Mask Dudes are underdeveloped. Which means we suck. And make a decent YouTube video. I'm trying here. However, I intend to up the culture a bit and share a poem with you all. Yeah, I know. Sounds corny. Sounds bad. But it's a comedic poem and it'll totally knock your socks off on wondering what is this guy writing? So, the poem, I'll be staring at the screen. Sorry, I can't stare at the camera and the screen at the same time. The po poem is called Rerouting Life by me, the mass dude. Here we go. So, is it beer that calls the wild things to the adventure? Maybe, but it's unexplored at the top of the food chain. We go deeper in the abyss, somehow coming back again. Having a desire to be running with the wolves. We all want to be the triumphant pathfinders, which on the last days are urged to go deep or go home. To try to take the road we've resolved to follow is sometimes hard to do, but some things don't work out as planned all the time. You must admit, however, that going on a new incredible journey is irresistible indeed. The excitement alone helps us overcome all our fears. Exploration. We try to make a lasting impression on life. Yet alas, survivors of the new world tend to block our path. It's darkness at the edge of the new world of cold and gloom we find. Sends our worst nightmares to plague us. Darkness wants to stop us, so we cannot seem to hold back our screams of terror. I guess it really comes down to the timing. It truly deciphers whether we're affected by the nightmares or not on our adventures through this strange new world. The mysteries. The future mainstream. The light being victorious. Sounds like a whole bunch of good goals, right? This is all a long way away from us, though. Yet we may still witness when darkness falls and live through the interesting events. The empty body Ah, buddy. The empty bottle will one day reveal itself to us. To be not so empty after all. And then we may find out what it holds. We all have sometimes asked, will no aspect of life remain untouched in this dust-filled world? We should be making sense within our own circles, I believe before we try and answer the bigger questions of life. Like whether we all remain untouched. Adventure, Fantasia, sadly all still ruled by, sadly all still ruled by the concept of time. Therefore, it makes it difficult for us to find such things as wonder. And time causes a lot of active stress. Or so some of the specialists say. It is good to create a ripple effect in the water that is still. I wonder why humanity just can't leave well enough alone, though. We've convinced everyone that there is good in what we've done. Now, we're better than the critics perceive. But it's still not enough. We all try to acquire something. But I think we've forgotten what we've missed. 
we travel and search for a dream that we try to visualize into a reality? But how far will we have to go to get back all we have passed? Sometimes moments are lost when you only focus on the things you want. But you've got to strive to regret nothing and forge onward to accomplish something, right? That you desire to be done, despite everything else, is important. And you may be happy with life, depending on the road you have followed, what else you are able to accomplish to finally reroute life. Okay. That might have made no sense. Uh, it was probably a little long-winded. But, I hope at least that makes me stand out. Because I'm not just another mass dude, ladies and gentlemen of the audience. I'm a mass dude with a rent. Until next time, sayonara.